International best-selling children's musician and author in the senior 30, also known as Dean O'Brien, continues to top the UK children's best-sellers charts. This Kiwi has headlined on the Glastonbury Children's Stage, worked with writers from Bob the Builder and even collaborated with Coronation Street stars. And he's with us now to tell us all about his new book and his tours with Wonky Donkey's Craig Smith. Thank you for joining us, Dean. Thank you so much for having me here. It is lovely. And this all started really for you when you were made redundant from a radio job. Yeah, We've yeah. essentially all been there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Been there. <laughs> so, so, so what happened? Okay, so... Um, I, I uh, got called into a meeting, lost my, lost my job, and I was like, oh, no, what am I going to do? But I'd always had a dream to, uh, from the age of 15, I wanted to be Dean Wiggle in a pink skivvy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, quite uh, a dream. And my wife said, now's the time to do it. And because I was pretty stressed, I was the boss of a couple of radio stations mm -hmm. over there, and and um, we and it didn't work. I, I, we lost all our money, and we were broke. And six months later, and oh and um, we had a choice to make: do I go back into an industry that I wasn't enjoying, or do I carry on? And so we went for an emergency meeting um, where we googled. I had a six-month-old baby, googled where to go, and and found a soft play centre for little kids. And I walked in, and I was like, this is full of little kids. And so I thought, oh, well, maybe I can um, go up to the management and ask them if I, if I can do a free show. I'd never done a show before. And so I went up and said, this is what I do. This is my album. Can I do a free show? And they said, yeah, of course. And then they wanted to book me every week. And I was like, I went home and Googled How many of these places? Thousands of them across the UK. And so all of a sudden that started and I started performing everywhere. And then it started climbing up and up and up. And then all of a sudden it hit the, the iTunes charts and it went up and up. And then it, it hit number one. And wow. I didn't sleep for about two days with excitement because we'd been through such a tough time. And then from there I got asked to uh, headline the kids field at Glastonbury and I worked with a few of the guys off TV over there and wow. yeah, it all kind of went from there. Oh, well I'll tell you what, we, we need to talk to you about yeah. the book, we need to talk to you about all these wicked things you're doing and we need to squeeze in yeah. a performance as well. So hold right there. Okay, we are back with Dean O'Brien, aka Mr Yippity, and this book on number one on the children's charts in New Zealand. Yes. Where, from, what else is happening? Well, that was from my album that went to number one in the, in the iTunes charts in the UK last Christmas. And uh, then, so Scholastic were interested in turning it into a book. And the guy that illustrates it, Paul Beavis, amazing. He won New Zealand Illustrator of the Year last year. I love the pictures in it. And you know what I also love about it is the fact that you keep mentioning Trumping because Trump is fart in yes. the UK, but we don't really use it in New Zealand. Very no. posh, posh word for fart. It's very timely. <laughs> it's a very timely thing to be talking about too. Yeah, exactly, because it's not to be confused with the American smelly Trump. Which is, <laughs> yeah. So I'll tell you what, the silver lining of being made redundant, I guess, is yeah. you've got this little empire going now. You must be pretty pleased pleased with everything. Oh, I'm love because I live I love it. I live my dream. Every yeah. single day I get to do what I love and the kids are hilarious and I get to bring my kids to work. Do your kids do your kids get what you do and do, are they really proud of you? Oh my five year old does and my fourteen month old dribbles. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, good at that. Yeah, so she comes to work and she has she knows all the gags so she yells them out before I've even done them. And, oh cute. Yeah. And speaking of yelling out, um, I know that you want us to do a little bit of that in your performance soon, but you're also doing a tour with uh, Mr Wonky Donkey around the country. Yeah. So I've been doing some shows with Craig down south, and he's amazing. He inspired the. So it's amazing to work with him, and um, doing I think uh, about another 40 shows before wow. Christmas. Wow, you are busy. Yeah. Okay, very all busy the details man. you can see on screen right now. That is so exciting, Wonky Donkey. That song gets stuck in your head. I'm sure this one will as well. So as you play it, uh, Mr. Yippity's book Jingle Bells, Rudolph Smells is available now. And for details on his New Zealand tour, check out his Facebook page. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you so you. much, Dean. Congratulations. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen Tino. <laughs> Smells from eating carrots and hay Went over a bump and he did a drop And I went in Santa's face Ooh, It's a bit cold, isn't it? Then on an icy Christmas Eve The sleigh got stuck to a roof The reindeer couldn't pull it It was slippery under hoof With reindeer in a panic Santa said, I smell an idea Rudolph, with your pong so strong, won't you pull the sleigh along? There was a rumble from his tongue, then thunder from his bum. bottom. We're, we're posh on the cafe bottom. We'll do that again. There was a rumble from his tongue, then thunder from his bottom. It jet propelled the sleigh, they rocketed away. Once again, Rudolph saved the day, not with his nose, just carrots and hay. The reindeer shouted out with glee, you go down in... Hey. 
history. Again, everybody hands up. Jingle bells, Rudolph smells from eating carrots and hay. Went over a bump and he did a trump. And I went in Santa's face. Hey!